that to keep quiet. There are people like that, like which is like me. It's not, it's not a sickness. Sometimes it's normal so that you can pray. Me, uh, for me to shut my mind down, very difficult. Uh, you find now there are times when you feel like you are sleeping, but you can hear yourself. It's experience well. Because I'll be sitting on the bed. If someone is in the room, they can think I'm sleeping. But I'm still feeling my heart pumping. So that's what is happening to you. Which uh, I'm sure will help you because it must not affect your heart also. Because it can affect your heart. So when you are feeling to sleep, take the Bible. If you are not studying, take the Bible and we'll see what will happen. You won't even know how you are <coughs> Stolen your knowledge as you live now. I restore back the knowledge, the wisdom, Jesus. God bless you. My name is Mrs. Chitio and my besides me is my daughter Tafazwa Chitio. We were privileged yesterday to meet the prophet uh, and the prophet spoke into our lives concerning uh, my family and also my daughter whom I came with. And the prophet spoke into our lives and indeed what he spoke into our lives is what was happening into my life and into my family and into my daughter. So I confirm all what he prophesied upon our lives to be true. And also today we were privileged to meet um, the apostle. He also spoke into our lives confirming what the prophet uh, has said yesterday. And we all confirmed the prophecies to be true. And we believe and we thank God that as they have spoken into our lives, our lives have changed, our lives will never be the same, and we have been blessed. The prophet of God yesterday spoke, uh, to the apostle today uh, spoke about um, my daughter struggling with the studies, of which the prophet has also said it yesterday. So he, wa he spoke about my daughter struggling with the studies, that I see you struggling with your studies. You work very hard, you study very hard, but you are not breaking forth. You keep on failing, should have been far by now. And also the uh, apostle also said the same, that this girl I see, she should have been studying in the UK. But it's n it has not happened that way. Uh, it is because she is attacked. So he said, when I pray for her, She's going to break through. She's going to go far. She's going to achieve all her goals. Uh, the prophet yesterday also spoke into my life concerning my marriage. He spoke um, exactly what was happening, that I had uh, challenges with my marriage, with my husband, of which I confirmed it to be true. 
In my marriage, we it was uh, I had the challenges, or so we had misunderstandings with my husband. We were there was no peace in the family. There was a lot of fighting, disunity, and uh, accusations. Uh, when we met the apostle today, he spoke unto my life. He mentioned that uh, things were there was an attack that was planned within phases. There was a tag that was planned within phases when I was four, something happened, and then they finalized it when I was seven. And ever since they finalized it, I've been uh, struggling as, uh, in school, which is true. I was passing in school, everything was going well, but as I proceeded with my studies, my results just kept on deteriorating until today in my tertiary school, and I've been struggling. And he spoke saying that I still don't know where it's coming from what's causing it because I study well and I prepare well ahead of time and everything but when I enter into the exam there's a demon that attacks and then it all goes blank and that's how I've been failing ever since and we confirm it to be true. After receiving the word and being delivered I'm hopeful for the future and helpful, hopeful for my schoolwork as far as my academics are concerned and I'm hopeful for the future and I'm excited to see what God puts into my life. After receiving the prophecy from the apostle I feel relieved, I feel blessed, I feel encouraged I believe my family is delivered.